This is St John's Corner and in 1937 the then King and Queen came through Wimborne and their vehicle travelled down the Lye Road heading in that direction. And there were loads of people around here waving them and uh, it was quite an event for Wimborne. These three special constables were on duty. The one in the centre was Bert Randall, who currently lives in Victoria Road, Wimborne. And these people were all there to witness her going by. And that vehicle turning in was a delivery van for the Paul and Bournemouth Co-op. St John's School on the corner and there go the royal persons. And looks as though there's another co-op delivery van coming down the hill. And that's Reg and Mrs Foster in their garden, which is opposite St John's Church. And the gentleman in the invalid tricycle set up is Sammy Cobb. Rodway's garage. This film was shot by Reg Rodway. He had a garage in Lye Road, Wimborne. He was very much involved with the local community and was a man of many talents. At one time, he was the driver of the ambulance. The early part of the wartime film shows military activity in the area. The latter part shows how the general public were involved in events and various activities. On this site where the quarterjack surgery is now was Rodway's garage and this is Lye Road but totally different to how it looked in those wartime days. This road wasn't here. Lye Road came down here and straight down there with Lewins Lane off to the left, which was a lot narrower than it is now. This is a shot of the top end of Lye Road. Boys going off to school. And just lower down Lye Road is St John's School. Having put the gas mask on the face, someone will then come along with a piece of stiff paper and put it over the end of the mask and ask them to breathe in. This is a test to see whether there is a leakage in the side of the face mask. This film was produced by Mr Reg Rodway to promote the Hospital League. I'll go and get help, he said. And so the ambulance arrives to deal with the injured man.
Pink, thank you. Lady want pink. This is Sydney Lewis. Uh, what a fair man, Sydney, who has been in the market, one of the originals here even before we had a store market on a Friday, and, and then who uh, came here and established initially the Friday store market. Was it in 1970 when you started April. The, the, the Friday April the outside? 8th. Yeah. April the 8th we started. The same position we are now. That's right. Exactly where that, we are that's now. Right. Yes. Because um, you were you were at Dorchester. That's sort right. Of King of Dorchester. Correct. And uh, this place is very nearly our lives. Um, that this place has dominated our lives, both of us. This place we eat, drink, and sleep all the time. And um, thank goodness we've been very fortunate. We have a family, and we have a son who is just as interested as we are and who says openly, the same as I always said, that this place will never be sold and it will never be sold or altered in our lifetimes. And our son says the same and he knows that this is our wish. But what this means to us, history-wise, I couldn't start to tell you. How times change, how implications grow. Without our hindsight, who could tell? Who'd know? The boy who's bought a cockerel might be, but for a year's grace, killed by Germany. All's over. Sigh and put your jacket on. The beasts are loaded and the day's work's done. Strange how today recedes, the distance grows. When it becomes the past, who sees?